Hi boys and girls, well today I think I'm going to do something a little bit different if I can. I'm finding myself very short of uh, disk space on the uh, PC, but I've got this WD My Cloud thing lying around doing nothing. And to be perfectly honest, it's on the biggest load of tasks I've ever bought and it was very expensive, but there is a quite a nice uh, 3 terabytes hard drive in here. Which I'm going to try and extract and use that as uh, an external hard drive. So I'm going to do this is obviously clipped in here somehow, this piece of plastic. So I'm going to try and remove it with a bit of brute force, I'm afraid. There we go. There we go. I'm afraid it's a very destructive process, but hopefully we will get it. That's no trouble. Uh, there we go. So I've got the other side. Oh. Do the same thing. You can see it, the old man's screwdriver, which is head about. 70 odd years, I should think. There we go. Look at that. Dead easy. And there, what we have is a 3 terabyte WD hard drive, which is Seems to have some fine of scrutiny writing on it. Here is the um, network materials, which we're going to have to remove as well. So we'll just see how we get on with that. Not too sure how that's attached just yet, but we will ultimately get there without doing too much damage to the hard drive I hope all sorts of little screws and rivets in there quite what this is I don't know it must come out somehow It went in, so it must come out. progress. You've got some rubber buffers there. There we go. As I said it did involve some a destructive process. And we'll just see what happens next. Now we've got to get the circuit board off. Obviously they've got star drives in there, which we're going to have to undo with a star drive screwdrivers, which I hope I've got the right size. And now the Phillips head. Take off. Yeah, one there.
SATA drive of course. It's just held up. And there's the circuit board. Just quite a simple thing really. My speed with the LFA, I don't know. Anyway, that's the US now anyway. What I've got to do now is get this lot off. And then we've got a protective shield over there, which is not a bad idea really. Just take this off. Screws that will come in handy. It's a WD red, whatever that means, I have no idea right now. Just need to get those screws out. I think star drive ones. See if they'll fit. That's too small. That one I have to take my glasses off as usual. That one's too big. I might have one upstairs that'll fit that. We'll go and have a look and then I'll come back to you and see in the meantime see if it works. If it's not, well there's a three tech drive hanging around, which is otherwise is useless. It dates from nice 2014. A, and it costs a hell of a lot of money, about 160 quid I think for this. And uh, Total waste of time because my connection speed is just too slow, it just doesn't work at all. Not properly, anyway. So, I'll just go upstairs and see if we've got another driver up there and connect it to the external drive, anyway, and see what happens. I'll report back later. Well, there we are. I've taken the uh, drive out, taken this upstairs, and formatted it. And now it's working okay. Um, presently, I'm down in downloading some backup folders, which is going to take probably the next nine or ten hours, which will be probably about three or four o'clock in the morning, I should think. Um, I just taking it out. I found these these little buffers, shock absorbers. You realise how quite important these things are, because. To knock a, when you're supposed to have the uh, the drive, it's supposed to be upright that like that. But unfortunately, a lot of people tend to knock them over. Okay. The problem there with doing that is that that can destroy a hard drive easily. It can and does happen very easily, and these. Even with these in, I've seen them destroyed, totally destroyed, by a drive falling over, being knocked over like that. So be very careful with them, and always store them or use them like that, never on end. Here ends today's lesson. Go back to the car later.